Shalom. First of all, I'd like to give all glory and honor to you. How about Shimei Ashai, by Shimei Kakadash. Double honor to teachers, elders, and the boss of great millstone. Likewise, brothers are there putting on this truth faithfully, fairly, see feeding the sheep. And to you, brothers and sisters, tuning in. Shalom. Today's lesson's title, A Soldier's Choice. Now or Never. And this is going into a conversation I had with a former colleague of mine. Both of us, we served. Um, we both went to the academy together to become officers in Esau's service and um he called very perplexed last night um you know we had spoken before when i warned him about not bowing down to the jews a few years ago uh which he did because he thought the hebrew is like thing was just some fad some phase but apparently he's been watching uh some of these other camps out there and particularly watched this prophetess you know that was talking about the hebrew israelites and talking about you know esau and great babylon america coming to naught you know going to be destroyed um and you know somehow fears inside of him you know but this is the fear of the lord that's coming inside many of you know the so-called blacks and americans and latinos that are here in great bible in america that now realizing we are in a pivotal point you know a pivotal stage you know a, a critical stage in our life here in great bible in america where decisions have to be made okay Let's start off with our first book here. This is the book of Matthew 6 and 20, Star Wars 24. It says, No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will hold on to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. And this man right now, okay, he absolutely hates his life, you know, or as an active duty uh, officer, okay? He absolutely hates it. Is he, he can see the degenerative nature of, okay, the service, you know, which has now turned into basically, you know, a cesspool of sissies, you know, and sodomites and, um, you know, women, you know, usurping authority over men. Yet they themselves have never displayed any type of warrior type of skills. OK, and he has served 19 years and he's at a point right now where he knows he has to get out or be destroyed, but he can't seem to walk away or, or, or walk away from the fact that if you walk away right now at 19 years in, you will not get that retirement, okay? And this is that snare that Esau holds over the head of hundreds of thousands of service members, okay? Now we're concerned about the Jakes that are wearing that monkey suit, that ACU, that are putting their lives on the line for a man that does not care for a man, okay, whose next ruler who's going to take the wicked seat has nothing but heavy heavy handed judgment that he's going to lay on the on the tribe of israel a so-called blasting americans and latino okay now we can tell you straight out we serve yahweh bashim yahushai we serve and do the work of the malak yahweh shai hamashiach okay who the world eagerly called jesus i'm going to pause for a second and i want you to see how Esau is using Jake to manipulate other Jake. I mean, just, just to show you how they think of us as just the most simplest of all people on this earth. Okay, this is the observation post. It said, meet the army's first full-time rappers. Look at these Jakes. Now, I'm going to play this little short little video. Young man graduated with a degree Blessed by the G.O.D. No other place that I'd rather be Rapping from Washington, D.C. All the way to Scott, L.A. And D. Everybody put your hands to the sky Riddick and Fiend, we had a dream Oh my, here to make a difference A mission on both sides If you slip in the Scotland to say hi I'm Staff Sergeant Nicholas Feebster I'm Staff Sergeant Lamar Riddick And we're here to make history <laughs> With these Jakes doing it And see, when Jakes MC this They think this is cool all the more. See, Esau will do anything to snare Jake. What can you say? All right, let's back, back, back to the lesson. We hate Esau the Edomite, the so-called white man, and his wicked ways. But we also know that Esau the Edomite, the so-called white man, and we're not talking with you peasants. We're talking about the shock caller sitting down in some dungeon right now doing some horrible things to some little animal or some little baby. Okay? We know that they are being controlled by Yahweh, by Shem Shai. Let's go into the book of Luke 12 and Psalm verse 5. It says, But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him which after he had killed had power to cast into hell. Ye 
I say unto you, fear him. And we're talking about Yahweh Hashem Shai. Because he, as we spoke last night, you know, he's, he's uh, concerned that, you know, if he start, you know, you know, following the, 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 you know, the camps and, you know, looking at the videos, um, you know, engaging with the man of the Lord, okay, that somehow, you know, you know, he's being watched or whatever. Okay, so he's like, you are, you are being watched. The Lord is watching you. The angels are watching you. Esau can watch you all day. Esau watches us. We watch him. The Lord is watching him. The angels are watching him. Okay? What are you, what are you fearing about? Okay? You can't, you, you don't need to fear this man. This, these, these people are trembling in their boots right now for the fact that they've been exposed. Okay? And once Jake realized who Jake really is, who he really is, okay? What we have to inherit that's Esau's greatest fear because now they can't pull that wool over your eyes anymore. You're not going to be a slave for them in their military. You're not going to be a slave for them out here doing the bojangle and dancing for them. Okay? You're not going to serve them, you know, corrupting and ruining your own tribe. Okay? With wickedness. Okay? So he was very, very, very fearful, okay, about the fact that you know, they may be watching him because he's still currently on active duty. It's like, so what? Okay. This is the book of Amos 3 and Star Wars 2 because one of the things that he brought up was like, uh, hey man, you ever, you ever thought about leaving the country, going someplace else safe? So, you know, I'm from the tribe of Benjamin. So obviously he, you know, he suggested, hey, you ever thought about going back to the Caribbean? It's like, no, the book of pursuing the Deuteronomy 28. Okay. There's no escape. Okay, the judge will pursue you no matter where you go. And if I was going to go someplace, as sure as hell wasn't going to be back to the islands. Okay, which has already been prophesied. The whole, those are all going to disappear. Okay, at the conclusion of the destruction of Great Babylon, America. Okay, so you got to stand your ground here in Great Babylon, America. This is the epic center of the judgment on the tribe of Israel, the so-called Black Americans and Latino. The Lord has made it very, very clear that He's going to kill two thirds. Okay, or sixty-six percent of the tribe of Israel. So all you have to be concerned about is are you part of the one thirty lakh that's going to be saved? Okay. Now he's perplexed right now because he knows what he has to do. He's heard the message out there, even though he heard it from some prophetess and maybe some of these other off the shoot camps out there. Somehow the Lord, the Lord uses them sometime to get Jake to come into hearing the truth. Okay, from the real prophets. Okay starting with the elders and teachers of great most soon likewise brothers okay a lot of us started out you know watching iuic wi-fi whatever as a form of entertainment and then eventually the spirit come on you to go and seek you know the truth in which is which where you too become you know fruitful you go out there and you're bringing in the sheep so you're edifying the sheep so uh, we, we spoke for about an hour you know last night you know and i let them know you can't run from the judgment Amos 3 and 2, you only have I known of the families of the earth, therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. And the Lord, how about you mentioned I made it very clear. He gave us the commandments. He told us not what the dietary laws, okay, the laws of adultery, all those things. So who is he judging really? The rest of these tribes can do what the hell they want to do. They're not held accountable like we are. Okay? So the Lord said he's going to judge us. He's going to start at the staff of the judgment with us. <laughs> okay? Because we were, we were just supposed to be the model, the model, the model tribe on this earth, but instead, you know, we're the ones that's doing all the wickedness, so much so that, you know, Esau is using Jake's, okay, to corrupt the entire earth through music and whatever other filth that he wants to uh, put out there. This is the book of Isaiah 13, Star Wars 15. It says, "Everyone that is found shall be trust true, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword." Now he's he's in, he's serving, okay, in a force. That is going to go up against the Malak when he returns. Okay? Esau is going to call up all these nations on this earth to go fight what they think is a UFO invasion. At least the rest of these world are going to think it's a UFO invasion. We know that's a Malak who the world ignorantly called Jesus coming back. Okay? So if you are serving in this man's military, you manage to survive. Okay? That long in World War III, eventually... You're going to be turned to dust when the Malak returns with the heavenly with the heavenly army to destroy all armies on this earth. 
there's going to be a true war of the worlds. And I let them know, you join on to Esau right now. You took the juice. I warned them about the juice. I warned them not to bow down to the dragon juice. And you, you, you brothers and sisters know what I'm talking about. And he went on. He took it. He got his promotion. Okay? He got his promotion. But now reality check is coming. You see, this reality check is going to come into every Hebrew Israelite. Okay? It's going to either come in, it's going to compel you to either seek the Lord, okay? Or you're going to try to cozy up to Esau and try to hope Esau show mercy on you, which there is not going to be any mercy because the Lord, Yahweh Shemesh, controls Esau. And since he's not going to show you any mercy because you choose Esau over him, Esau is not going to show you any mercy because he can't, okay? So it says right there, everyone that is found shall be trust true. These Edomites can be trust true. The Lord is coming back and the Lord is bringing the judgments on Great Babylon America right now, okay, on these Edomites. And everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword, okay? Mentally, if you're joined unto this place, you're going to fall by the sword. Physically, if you're joined unto this place, you're going to be falling to the sword. And that is what? In service with these Edomites. Serving his military, serving on the police force. What? What do you think is going to happen? We saw those Jakes in that video uh, uh, who were cops out, out in, uh, I think, New Jersey or New York when they was in the migrant shelter, that migrants is jumping all over them. Jake, you have no reason to be in those monkey suits. Drop those, take those things off. There's no retirement. His concern is, I got 19 years in the military. I don't know if I could walk away from it, you know, because I, I, I don't get to get into retirement. That's a, that's a snare that he saw set up, all or nothing, okay? And these are the choices that the Lord, the Lord brings to you. So he's that close. You know, if you get like 10 years in like that, it's like, yeah, okay. I'm halfway there now. I can walk away. Five years in, nobody cares. 19 years, all you need to do is stretch out one more year and you can get 50% of your pay. Access to the commissary, you know, all those frills that Esau promised you. Or you could walk away and gain your life. Serving Yahweh by Shema Shai. This is the book of Proverbs 29. Psalm 25 says, The fear of man bringeth a snare, but whoso put his trust in the Lord Yahweh by Shema Shai shall be safe. Many seek the ruler's favor, but every man's judgment coming from the Lord Yahweh by Shema Shai. I just mentioned to you what? The true judgment that you're going to get, that or life, is coming from the Lord Yahweh by Shema Shai, not Esau the Edomite. Don't give a crap where he's eavesdropping on your cell phone, your emails, in your house. Or whatever the case is like that. If Esau wants to set up a dug on hidden camera and watch me take a shit, that's his damn business. Or anybody. We don't care. That's why we stand out in the highway and the byway. And I told him to trade that dug on monkey suit. Okay? Put all that, 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 that animalistic warrior spirit that you have and come out here on the highway and the byway, man, and face against Mount Seir against Great Babylon America, against Edom, against your oppressor that has raped our women, sodomized our men, constantly killing our people in the streets, and then lying to you about who you are and who he is. And it says an unjust man is an abomination to the just, and he that is upright in the way is an abomination to the wicked. See, we are upright in the way, so we're an abomination to them. We don't go along with their sodomite. We don't go along to get along with their sodomite agenda. Or whatever crap... Esau comes out with. Because at the end of the day, I just read to you, it says, but every man's judgment coming from who? The Lord, Yahweh, Shema, and Shai. So the power that execute power on this earth, okay, is controlled by the power who's our power, who's our, who, who we serve. So see, Jake, you know, as I spoke with him, it's like, you have all this fear. You're trying to juggle between seeing how you could finesse your way for the next year. You already took the dragon juice. Showing where your mindset is. You need to gird yourself up. You can't escape the judgment. There is no escape. You can't go to Africa. You can't go to the Middle East. You can't go to Asia. You can't go to the Caribbean. Either way, that judgment will get you. Either you part of either you either you part of the one third for life or the two thirds for death. One way or the other, the Lord is gonna act is gonna deal with you. Okay. Let's go into the book of Matthew. 6 down verse 19 says lay not up treasure yourself treasures upon earth where moat and rust do corrupt and where thieves break through and steal but lay up treasures lay up for yourself treasures in heaven where neither moat nor rust do corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal 
for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Okay? So he's thinking more of like, man, I can't lose this retirement. So that means you are hoping Babylon continues on. Because that means you're looking to retire. Okay? You can't see past the fact that the Lord will actually provide for you. One way or the other. Okay? You're believing what Esau says because it's written on paper. He, he's going to give you 50% of your current pay. The Lord will put you to death, put you to death within the next year. You already took that dragon juice. You will not see a retirement. And I let him know that. I testified to this Jake. Because before when I had spoken to him, he thought I was just part of some fad or whatever the case is like that. And, you know, he shrugged it off. He went on. But now the fear of the Lord is in him. It's fear now. And what I heard was fear. And that's scriptural. That's prophetic because... You jakes are there. You're going you're gonna to start fearing. I expect to get a lot of phone calls soon as things start to rev up here in Great Babylon, America. People are calling going, hey, man, we always knew you were some dude that was just not down with it. What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. You're finna die. That's what's going to happen. Okay? Uh, okay, there's an actual scripture that we usually bring out for these jakes at that time, especially when there's when this, uh, when this a famine of the word comes. We're not going to be going out of our way to warn you or look or seek you out or anything like that. Hell to the hell no. It's judgment time. Let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes 5, sound verse 7. Make no tiring to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and in thy security thou shall be destroyed and perish in a day of vengeance. So this Jake, you know, this colleague, former colleagues of mine, he think if he can squeeze out another year, He'll get his retirement. Then he can come and serve the Lord. He can then come and be do the Hebrew Israelite thing. Doesn't work that way, Jack. You don't get you don't get something for nothing. See, that's a that's a problem with Jake's them. Okay? They always want something for nothing. Now, I open up in Matthew 6 and 24, which talks about what? You can't serve two masters. You can't serve Esau. Get your 20 years in, and Esau will give you a little retirement, and then afterwards you can come and you think you're gonna serve Yah by Shemashai? No, you continue on with your with your retirement uh, wish that you want, your security. I just read to you in Ecclesiastes where it says, "And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance." The Lord will take vengeance on you; He will destroy you. You have no covering now that you've been warned by one of the prophets. So, Lord willing, hopefully, like. It's edified today, like the close of a given all going on to by Shimia Shah by Shimra Kakadash. Double on the teachers that listen to the boss of great millstone likewise, brothers so they're putting on the truth. Faithfully fair to see feeding the sheep and two brothers and sisters tuning in. Shalom.